In Bradenton, a group of residents are asking the Cedar Hammock Fire District to move on from its current chief after several complaints. ABC 7's Adam Cellini joins us live from Bradenton tonight with more on the story. Adam? Yeah, Scott, I'm out here with uh, almost a dozen protesters that you can see behind me. We're right outside uh, the district's administrative building, and these are firefighters, uh, former fire and fire, firefighters and family of current firefighters who are all out here protesting uh, the current chief, Jeffrey Hoyle. They say he is mistreating employees in his district. Now, Chief Hoyle took over the district about four years ago. Uh, some of the people we've spoken to out here are saying that he has been oppressive to his employees as a chief and say that is now called costing uh, high the district in high attorney fees. He was unfairly disciplined multiple times by the department and um, let go under very false pretenses. So that's why we're out here today because the firefighters don't have any recourse because um, their chief is the beginning and the end of all disciplinary matters. Now, tonight we're hoping to speak with, with Chief Hoyle and, and get his side of the story. There is a board meeting that is happening uh, right now. It just started. And uh, we're also expecting to hear from the previous chief that Hoyle replaced, uh, Randy Stolsey, um, who will all, who's also expected to, ex, uh, to speak about some dissent that he also has with how Hoyle may be running things here. We'll be bringing you all of that later tonight at 11 o'clock. For now, live in Bradenton, I'm Adam Cellini. Back to you in the studio. All right, Adam, thank you so much.